Hi there, welcome to module six of Winning Websites, Search Factors. We talk a lot about ranking factors at social school, especially in our SEO courses, but this obviously is a really important component of our websites. And there's nothing that drives me crazier than developers and web agencies that build these beautiful sites, but they take into account SEO like zero degrees. So we have to really think about it as we go and it's not hard. We just have to learn a few things and optimize throughout the site with the basics and then grow from there. So first thing, some of the search factors we're talking about here, site speed, mobile friendly scores and how we rate there in Google's eyes, the dwell time, which is super important, AKA how clear is your site and, and how satisfied are people with it? Are they gonna keep dwelling and moving through it, which is an important ranking factor. And then additional SEO pieces that have to do with the way we name our pages, images, meta descriptions, and then a little bit on Google Analytics and Search Console. So first things, just how friendly is your site and are you to your ever increasing number of mobile users? And it's really important to know this ratio as well. If you're not aware of how your desktop to mobile traffic has changed over time, you need to look at it. And this is something that should be benchmarked or noted at least every quarter and seen in your Google Analytics. It would be under the audience section and then you head on in to mobile um, and you can sort of see that split between mobile, desktop, and tablet. And if you're like most every site on the internet, it's moving more and more towards mobile, especially if you're running a lot of social campaigns or social ads, because people are likely then clicking on your ad or following them, their way to your website from their mobile device. So how is it rendering? Is it a site from 1995 that doesn't at all show up on a mobile device or screen and thus looks awful and Google knows that, believe it or not. They know how you rank on a mobile friendly side and they want you to know too. So they have made a mobile friendly test page for us as part of their suite of search tools. You just have to Google it or you can follow this link, but just Google Google mobile friendly score and you'll see this page and you can enter your website and it will give you a score as to how you're performing. Is your page mobile friendly? Is it not? I used um, Canada Revenue Agency because I didn't know of anyone else that we could make fun of quite so much or at least maybe be a little less friendly to. Um, but it turns out their page is mobile friendly. Are the people mobile friendly? I don't know, it's a different question. Um, what about a site that's not? Well, you're gonna see a big red stain on it, but more than that, you'll get some suggestions. It's gonna tell you where you have some issues and how you can make changes. And if you don't totally understand what they're suggesting, you can take that to your web developer or the internet and Google, You know, what does this mean and how do I fix it? If you have Google Search Console set up, which is an easy free dashboard that's just like Google Analytics, which remember that tells you how your site is being used and where people are coming from. So it's all about user behavior and acquisition. Whereas Google Search Console is how your site is performing technically. Do you have broken links, broken pages, slow load speed, bad dwell time? It's just an extension of the, the technical elements you might find in Google Analytics. So really important to look at and they're gonna give you suggestions there so you can make improvements. An example of a not so mobile friendly site, we've all seen these and this is where, you know, bless you irishrexonline.net, your page is not mobile friendly. It is the exact same page on desktop as it is on mobile. So you've just squished your website into a mobile view, you're using maybe a WordPress theme that doesn't automatically render into mobile, mobile view which by the way is a built-in feature in Shopify, Kajabi, Squarespace, Wix, Joomla, all these CMS platforms, which is great, but we still have to make sure they look okay and maybe reduce a bit of text if we need to because of how they're showing up on mobile and it just looks like an overwhelming jumble of words compared to how it looks on desktop. Next up, site load speed. Does this really matter? Yes, it does. Not only for the experience of your user, because how long do you expect me to sit here staring at my screen waiting for your site to load? And keep in mind, I might also have really bad Wi-Fi or my phone might be ancient. So that's gonna you know, accentuate the problem. But we have to also recognize that Google knows this too. So they basically don't wanna send people our way if we have poor mobile experiences, poor load speed, and just a bad site overall that people don't dwell on. They bounce immediately, meaning they didn't click on a single thing or go to another page or scroll at all. 
So the reason Google tracks that kind of thing is because it, it's in its vested interest or best interest to send people to sites that they're going to love and thus they will continue trusting Google as their go-to search engine that gives them awesome answers. So paying attention to load speed, this is going to change throughout your year. It depends on if you're on a shared server or a dedicated server and how fast your website is going to be performing as a result. Um, as well as, you know, again, things like how trafficked are your pages on a current day or month or whatever. But more than anything, how is your site built? How big are those images on your homepage? And if they're over 500 kilobytes, forget it. Why do you have three megabyte, not web friendly images loaded up on your homepage? They don't need to be print ready. We're not printing anything for a giant billboard. We can have them in web ready or web optimized versions of themselves and just drastically cut load speed down and so many other um, things that we can do as well. But that's, that's a big one. So this is where we can ask Google directly again in its developer tools. Just Google um, Google page speed insights test or, or a tool and you'll find your way here pretty easily and you can enter your URL. In this case, I used our friends at the Manitoba Convention Center or the Winnipeg Convention Center and um, discovered that much like mine and yours and a lot of sites on the internet, um, their mobile load speed was not great and their desktop load speed wasn't great either. So there's so much we can learn from this. And, um, and I think you'll see very quickly that some of the suggestions that Google might be giving you are very doable. And then as you get down the list of opportunities to improve, you may have to seek a developer, but, but sometimes you'll just be surprised to see that, oh, that particular image is gigantic. I have no idea how that got there and you can immediately swap it out. I hope that helps. Um, we are obviously covering a broad swath there of, of uh, SEO stuff or search friendly tools. But um, the idea is to just start with the basics and integrate those as you go. Seek out additional SEO training if you need it, which we'd be honored to help you with. I will see you in module seven, the final module of this course, and we are going to slay some integrations and automations.